Hello everyone! Good afternoon, good evening! This will be part 2 of our more examples video. Someone sent us an activity and we have solved for the problem solving. For the part 1, we have already spent like 30 minutes. Okay, so we need to solve this very fast. Should we? Let's see. Alright? So, as, as usual, I'm gonna post these questions. 5 seconds for each question so you guys could pause. You know, could post and solve this at home. Okay? So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five for each question. Okay, so I hope you guys pause the video and try to solve it for yourself. But for now, we're gonna solve these questions. And I hope you guys learned something. Alright, so for our first question, this will be a static problem. I've seen the diagram, it looks like a static problem. Chords are looped around the small spacers uh, separating two cylinders. I'm gonna write, uh, I hope you guys could read this, 4,000 Newton. 2,000 Newton. 1,000 Newton. Uh, two cylinders uh, weighing 2,000 Newton each pass as shown in the figure below. So, 2,000. There's two cylinders. I don't know why there's two cylinders. Probably, this is the front view. Then, there's two cylinders there. So, 4,000 Newton. Over a frictionless pulley to weigh 1,000 Newton and 2,000 Newton. Determine the angle theta. And the normal force between the cylinders and the motion. Okay. So, first off, statics. Apply some forces. There's the weight. Let's go downward. Going weight, 4,000 Newton. Okay. Uh, compressive force, tensile force. There's tensile force. Going to the left. Going to the upward. Okay. Uh, compressive force, tensile force. Friction force. There's no friction. It's not moving. Normal force. It's going upward. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. We applied five forces. Time to do an FBD. An F. 4,000. 2,000. Uh, wait, what? I think, uh, I think this is 1,000. This is 2,000. Okay, 2,000. See, my writing is very bad theta, right? Uh, X component, Y component, uh, let's do it. Y component, uh, NF is going upward, so it's just positive NF. 4,000 is going downward, so it's negative 4,000 Newton, you know. Okay. 2,000 Newton sine theta, then 2,000 Newton Oh, there's too many zero. Cosine theta. Because we don't know the theta. Then, 1,000 Newton going to the left. Zero. Right? That's all the forces. There's only four forces in the diagram. Okay? And because... Uh, it is a static problem. And it is to be... Loop around, separate to this each weighing friction is pulls to weight. Yeah, it is to be balanced. We're gonna assume as uh, equilibrium. Then 2,000 cosine theta minus 1,000 for the x component. This on the left one, right? Is equal to zero. Uh, cosine theta is equal to 1,000 over 2,000. Cosine theta is equal to 1 half. Theta is 60 degrees. Okay. 60 degrees. I hope you guys get that. Yeah. Then if that is 60 degrees, NF uh, on the Y component minus 4,000 plus 2,000 
sine 60. We already got 60, right? Is equal to 0. NF is equal to 4,000. Move 4,000 to the right. Minus 2,000 sine 60. NF will be probably something choo 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 choo. I don't know. Something choo choo choo. I don't know. I, I'm not a mathematical wizard. Sine 60. I guess here my keyboard. 2267. 2267.94. Newton. Newton? Newton. Okay. This is the final answer. Theta and normal force. Okay. That's the answer. I hope you guys got it. The same as me. I think that's a pretty easy question. I could say that's like easy. Because uh, easy to moderate. Because you still need to know NF. But that's pretty easy. You know? Just FBD at one place. Okay. How about the next one? Let's do Sakuragi. I've seen Sakuragi. Very nice. I, I watch uh, Slam Dunk when I was a kid. Very nice anime. Very nice anime. Uh, Coach and Sai. I love Coach and Sai. And when Coach and Sai uh, fell ill and went to the hospital, you know, I cried. I cried to Coach Ansai. Coach Ansai, don't you dare die on us. Okay, so Sakuragi Basketball Genius is to make a shot on the basket with 100 gram ball. Okay. At the angle of projection of 50 degrees. Okay. He is throwing at a height of 2.2 meters. Probably, you know, with arms. You know, you know, Sakuragi, the basketball boy genius, is throwing at 2.2 meters. You know, normally, is 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 people supposed to be 2.2 meters tall? I don't know. Uh 2.2 meters. If the basket is 3.2 meters, okay, and 11 meters far, what would be the velocity he needs to throw the ball in the time of flight? Uh, we could use y is equal to x tangent theta. x tano gx squared 2 because because. You know. So y. Okay. Uh, if we're gonna separate. Okay guys. This is like the normal projectile motion. Okay. So if we're gonna separate the 2.2. Okay. Always remember that this is a mathematical equation. So always represent your data in a Cartesian plane. So if this is your origin, you know, okay. And this is the second point. This is the y and x, right? X and y, right? The x will be 11 meters. The y would be 1 meters. Tangent 50 minus 9.81. Uh, 11 squared over 2b squared cosine 50 squared, okay? What would be uh, v squared? Okay, I'm gonna simplify this instantly. You know, we're not gonna do some math. Ew, math, right? Ew, math, okay? So, 11, 9.81, 11 squared over 2 cosine 50 squared is uh, over 11 tangent 50 minus 1 is equal to v squared okay so we move it to the right we move this to the we move this to the left we move this to the right so 11 tangent 50 then v squared multiply both sides by v squared and divide both sides by 11 tangent 50 minus 1. Okay? Square root both sides. Square root both sides. What would be V? Okay. You know, uh, if, if you guys are having a hard time with algebra, you could pause and try to do it. Maybe I'm wrong with algebra. Double check. But so far, I think I'm doing right. I think so. I think so until i'm wrong you, you know i have some videos where i am wrong you know i appreciate 
the the uh ray i think it's ray S some user commented oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna check later okay i appreciate you random user for telling me that i'm wrong on the last video thank you so much you know uh you know and i'm happy that everyone is watching you know and you know someone is watching and everyone is like oh yeah he's wrong about this and they're trying to solve this you know syntax error what Oh, this should be squared. Should this... Right. 11 tangent 50 minus 1. I think that's correct. 15? point forty twenty eight is oh there's no two ten point eighty nine fourteen ten point eighty nine fourteen meters per second for the bill okay and in order to get the time of flight uh let's just use the distance v cosine fifty t or vx vxt right so s is uh 11 is equal to 10.8914 times cosine 50 times time so time is equal to 11 over 10.8914 cosine 50 okay so what should be the answer 11 divided by 10.8914 divided by cosine 50. 1.5712. 12 seconds. Okay, this is the answer. That is the time of flight. Okay, Sakuragi. Ah, okay, I would say that's a moderate question, but it's fairly uh, just formula and input. Okay. There's no an there's no analyzation yet happening. I mean we analyze the problem, but it's simply diagram. Oh you know, it's simply diagram diagram Ali. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. FBD solution, right? It's very uh formative, you know, it's very format, redundant. Okay. Diagram Ali, ah, sorry. Diagram solution formula formula solution okay uh i do not write the given if you guys write the given it's much better but it's so it's repetitive it's uh you know it's very repetitive you know uh i do write the given if there's already a diagram given okay so for me i write the given if there's already a diagram given so i need to know what the given is and i need to double check if i'm 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 using the right events okay so let me check the time 30 minutes it's pretty fast okay so this one is you are in a bicycle with a total weight of one kilogram jumping a 30 meter tall 40 meters length ramp okay we don't know the angle of that if you were starting at a velocity of three meters per second and uh until jumping off the ramp at a speed so you want the v2 here to be 10 meters per second uh how much work must you exert in the frictional uh oh i think we already have solved this on a last on our last video work power energy i hope you guys watched that video you know i made it very wrong so you know click and subscribe <laughs> wait i'm wrong so don't don't subscribe okay i'm not worth of your subscription right i'm, I'm not worth it you know I, I need to be perfect i need to be perfect you know that's that's a pretty stupid anyways ah how much work was you exert in if the frictional work is so there's a frictional work of ten thousand joules per meter okay so for frictional work first since the bike is gonna be flowing or moving into the ramp 20 meters 10,000 joules 
meter. A uh, dimensional analysis, joules per meter. So we need to multiply this to meter to get the joules, the work, uh, 20 plus, what is this? 40, 30, 30 squared plus 40 squared, 900, 1,600, 2,500. Uh, hypotenuse, hypotenuse squared, hypotenuse square root, 50. Hypotenuse is 50, so plus 50. So that's uh, frictional work is 70,000, uh, 700,000 joules. Okay, frictional work. Okay, let's do work is equal to potential energy, 100 kilogram times 9.81 times uh, height 2 is 30 meters minus 0 plus height 1. Oh, no, no. Velocity 1 half, 100, mv squared, 10 squared minus 3 squared, then plus 700,000 joules. But it's positive because friction is supposed to make you exert more work. Friction is going to make you uh, need to exert more work. Okay, so if we're talking about the bicycle, we need to exert more work. So the bicycle, we need to have positive more work. Okay, for you, it's going to be negative more work. Okay, so 100 times 9.81 times 30 plus 0 0.5 times 100 times 10 times 10 minus 3 minus times 3. Plus 700,000. 73. So work is 733980 joules. That's the answer. Okay. Did I get that correctly? Okay. Did I get that correct? I'm going to check later, you know. So I'm going to check later what number we are for and uh, number three. So last two questions. I think we're, we're doing this pretty good. I would say this is uh, with it has dimensional analysis, okay? It has friction. You need to apply some dimensional analysis on it. You know, you, know, you don't need to panic. You know, it's organic. Well, it's not organic. It's mechanical. It's mechanic. Anyways, you know, uh, it's it uses dimensional analysis. So I, I'm guessing that's moderate to hard. Okay, that's moderate to hard or probably hard. No, but you know, it's just direct input. No, direct input, it's okay. Okay. Right. Uh let's do to number four. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna continue. Hello and welcome back. Okay, so I I I just like took a break because uh, it's like a uh, half an hour solving. You know, and I search for the comment, you know, and thank you, uh, Mr. or Miss User, Seal5DQ for, I mean, it's literally named User. So, thank you so much. Uh, whoever you are, I I like people, you know, you, you, you're, you're, there's only like few people commenting on the video. You know, let's be honest. And I appreciate you guys, you know, I appreciate you guys, you know, we're just starting and you guys are like asking and trying to solve problems you know and you guys could also like uh thank you so much sir for for the problem you know and thank you so much Ooh, i like you sir i mean you guys could comment below and what you thought about the video you know sir you could have more pizzazz uh, i don't know you know you could you could solve more problems sir how about this problem or you know anyways anyways guys thank you so much again for the support and uh, let's solve. Let's try to solve. Uh, I have mastered all three elements. Oil. What? Water. Earth. Okay. He was tasked by a student engineers of BSU to fill a cylindrical tank equally. Okay. Uh, the density of earth is 5,500 kilogram per meter cube. The density of oil is 760 kilogram per meter cube. Uh, density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube okay uh, separated by layers the closed tank is 6600 pound mass 
of weight or mass you know how tall will each layer be if the diameter of the tank is 1.2 feet okay first of all if you if you do this by height okay if you do this by height okay so first of all the question here is uh, to fill uh the cylindrical tank equally okay so it didn't say is it equal in mass equal in 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 length or in height okay if it's equal in mass you know uh it makes sense because mass is given 6600 pound mass and if we divide it by three that's uh 2200 pound mass okay if the length is not given okay, the length should be length of each one should be divided by three okay uh, we're gonna solve it by mass first we're gonna solve it by height okay there's gonna be two answers but i think the easiest is mass because first of all how tall will each layer be height is being asked okay Okay, let's try equal in mass, right? So, if that's equal in mass, 6,600 pound mass, let's convert that. Uh, total, uh, let's, let's divide that by 3. So, each layer, earth, oil, and H2O will have 2,200 pound mass. 2,200 pound mass. 2,200 pound mass, okay? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I hope you guys don't hear the dog. The dog is barking so nice. Okay. I'm gonna do this side by side. Okay. And what is being asked is the height, right? Height? Yeah, the height, right? So, 2,200 pound mass, convert that to kilogram, right? 2.205 pound, 1 kilogram. 2.205 pound, 1 kilogram. Dimensional analysis, pound, 1 kilogram. Uh, for earth, is 5,500 kilogram per meter cube. That's division. For oils, uh, 1 divided by 760 kilogram per meter cube. For H2O is divided by 1,000 kilogram per meter cube, okay? So, what will be left is volume, okay? Dimensional analysis. We're trying to get the height. In order to get the height of a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h, okay? And because they're filling the cylinder, they're gonna be... Uh, because they're filling the cylinder, they're gonna be at equal diameter. So, the di divided by area, area will be pi uh, 1.2 feet, okay? Oh, is that the diameter? Diameter. So, the radius will be 0 0.6, right? 0 0.6 radius of feet times 0 0.3048 squared pi r squared 1 over pi 0 0.6 times 0 0.3048 squared outside 1 over pi 0 0.6 times 0 0.3048 i would say this is a, a little hard i think out of the problem this is the hardest one Okay, dimensional analysis, the hardest one. You need to think this one, you know. You need to think and you need to analyze what is being question, uh, asked, right? So, in this question, this is a little bit harder. Okay? I didn't say hard, harder, just, just plain hard. Whoever invented this question is so, so 
Well, it's okay. 1.7265? 1.7265 meters. The height, right? Then we're just gonna change the uh, the density. That's the only difference. The only difference in uh in the in the solution is, oh sorry, this one. Okay, the only change the difference between the solutions is this one. Okay, so we're just gonna change five thousand five hundred by seven sixty. Twelve point forty nine forty four meter times 760 divided by 1,000. 9.4958. 9.4958 meters. Okay. That is the answer if the cylinder is divided equally by mass. Okay. That is the answer. Okay. If it's in height, right, if it's in height, uh let's have an equation right six thousand six hundred pound mass i'm gonna convert this into kilogram six thousand six hundred divided by two point two two point two zero five 2993.1973 2993.2973 1973 1973 kilogram okay and uh if the cylindrical tank is divided in in height meaning we don't care about the mass so mass of the earth plus mass of the uh sand uh, uh sand oil plus mass of the uh water right okay so it's gonna be adding up into the uh cylinder okay uh what else right they have the same height okay they have the same height meaning the height of earth is equal to the height of the the oil the height of water okay Meaning, if they have the same, vo the volume of earth is equal to the volume of water is equal to the volume of oil. Because if they have the same height and they have the same area, it's in the same volume, okay? And density uh, is equal to mass over volume. So, volume of earth is equal to the mass of earth over density. Or we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Uh sorry. Mass of earth is equal to the volume of earth times density of earth. So meaning in this formula. Oh, this is more dimensional analysis. I love this question. Meaning in this question, okay, mass of earth will be equal to the volume of earth times uh density of earth plus volume of uh oil plus density of oil, plus um, volume of water, plus density of water, okay? And volume is pi r square h. They have the same height, and they have the same volume, meaning the uh, pi times 0 0.6 times 0 0.3048 squared times height is equal to... Uh, Earth is 5,500 plus uh, 760 plus 1,000. Okay. Then 2993.1973. Okay. Uh, height will be 2993.1973 divided by pi divided by 0 0.6 times 0 0.3048 squared times 5,500, 6,500, uh, 7,260, 
divided by 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.3048 divided by 0 0.3048 divided by 0 0.3048 3.9239 meters. Okay, this is in meter. This is in kilogram per meter cube. This is kilogram. Okay. So 3.9239 meters for each layer. Okay. This will be the height of the oil. This is will be the height of the earth. This will be the height of the water with equal height. Okay, that will be equaling into 6,600 pound mass of, of the tree. You know, way to go, Ang. You're so clever. Okay. Okay, so we have two answers, three answers if it's the same mass, two ans one answer if the same height. Okay. Please tell me if you got the same answer as me. You know, I think that's correct. I'm gonna review this. You know, I'm gonna review this. This is an exercise. We need to be correct on this one. Okay. Hi. Right, anyways, let's continue to the problem. How many minutes is that? Thirteen minutes. Okay. Right, let's continue to number five. Bonus. Okay. Okay, bonus question. Let's do this. Bonus question. Marvin the Martian is an old-fashioned navigator of the seas. He always keep the scenes, ships, keep the ship's logs. If the ship starts from position A, well, B is 1,000 kilometers. Okay, so B, A is here. Position A, then B is 1,000 kilometers east, 50 degrees north. Okay. 1,000 kilometers, uh, 50 degrees north, okay? Uh, Marvin logs as follows, 200 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east, 200. Uh, 150 kilometers north of, north of west, 150 kilometers to, uh, 150 kilometers, uh, 20 degrees north of west 200 to the left to the right 400 upward 100 kilometers that's 200 400 100 kilometers east uh, at the end of log d what direction distance must, the tra must he travel in order to reach position b so what is being asked is a missing vector okay uh, let's do component method x component y component uh, 200 cosine 30 200 sine 30 150 cosine 20 and because it's to the second quadrant negative x positive y sine 20 plus 200 that's that's complex form when you when it's in complex form you just add i for the x j for the y 400 that's zero oh wait east meaning just positive 100 to the right that's zero. okay and there's a missing log okay let's just do uh, v cosine theta plus v sine theta okay for vx and vy Okay, vector x and vector y. For the resultant, it's 1,000 cosine 50 and 1,000 sine 50. Okay. For vx, it's 1,000 cosine 50 minus 100 minus 200 plus 150 cosine 20 i'm just writing down you know the algebra of the stuff minus 200 cosine 30 okay vx is 1000 cosine 50 minus 100 minus 200 plus 150 cosine 20 Minus 200 cosine 30. 
310.5364 uh, unit kilometers VX for VY uh, 1000 sine 50 uh, let's just do VY VY is equal to 1000 sine 50 minus 400 minus 150 sine 20 minus 200 sine 30 what is vy 1000 sine 50 minus 400 minus 150 sine 20 200 sine 30 214.7414 Did we do it, do it correctly? Double check. Always make sure that you're doing the correct answer. No, pretty good, pretty good. 214.7414. 214.7414. Kilometers. Okay. So that's VY and VX. Let's get V. Let's get part A in here. Yeah. Okay, this is it. 5364 plus uh, 214.7414 squared squared Pythagorean theorem that's Pythagorean theorem 310.5364 times 310 times 5364 plus 214.7414 squared square root 377.5536 uh, kilometers. That's the right answer. I feel that's the right answer. How about the theta? Well, we can just do arc tangent uh, y over x 214.7414 divided by 310.53. 34.66 right so arc tangent vy over vx is equal to theta theta is 64 50 64 30 4 6 6 4 5 4 4 5 4 5 okay degrees with respect to uh uh, of east 50 degrees north of east right or with respect to the positive x axis since vx and vy are both positive it's on the first quadrant it's going upward right upward and rightward okay that's the answer you know and fun fact you know uh do you guys know a special movie the star wars series you know i've been watching star wars very nice very good uh at very mood very good uh science fiction and fun fact you know what we solve forces right the powers in star wars are called the force and people who like star wars do cosplays and convention at may the fourth and they call in oh uh you know a special someone a special instructor always uh support their students by saying may the force be okay so in solving this problem may the force be okay may the force be with in solving this problem i hope you guys learned, have learned something so thank you so much and goodbye bye bye guys uh, please comment below and if you guys have any question feel free to comment below okay bye bye bye, -bye.